Hi guys, Julia here from James Squared Vintage. Welcome back to the channel. I am here today with another incredible bins haul. And I gotta say, like, I walked into the bins this week telling myself, like, this needs to be a small haul. Full disclosure, I'm behind on listing and photographing things. For example, um, everything I'm about to show you isn't even going to be photographed until the day that this video comes out, which is tomorrow. Uh, so I don't love... <laughs> I don't love working in that kind of crunch time. I'm very much somebody who's a planner. So I'm gonna be going through a sprint for the next two weeks to really like just get myself caught up and get myself ahead. Um, that is to be said, if, if anything here um, is of interest to you, let me know in the comments below. I'll be happy to prioritize getting it listed for you. But guys, the bins were serving this week. <laughs> like I just, so, cool vintage pieces incredible brands like bolo brands new bolo brands brands that are you know some people's like holy grail brands and they they just like i had to stop myself i had to walk away i mean i think at one point i had maybe 70 things in my basket that were like viable you know between bread and butter and really great finds and bolo brands and interesting vintage pieces and i literally had to sit there and just cull it down to kind of special pieces. Uh, it was wild, like I've never, I've never experienced anything like that, but super excited to share all these things with you. But if you are new here, guys, first and foremost, welcome, welcome aboard. Um, I'm Julia. I talk about thrifting and vintage and reselling on the internet. If that is anything that interests you, uh, hit subscribe down below. I would love to have you along on this journey. We're building this great community of fellow thrifters, and vintage lovers, and resellers, and just generally trying to build a really like welcoming and inclusive community around what we do and what we love. But without further ado, guys, let's get into the goods. I've got, I think, 41 or 42 pieces. This was supposed to be a small haul. Um, but go get yourself a drink, go get yourself a snack. I've got my caffeine, um, but let's get in to the goods. So we're gonna start this off. I've got a few non-clothing pieces, so let's kind of get those out of the way first, just because they're bulky and, um, you know, you guys can't see what I'm looking at here, but just like, let's just say it's the leaning tower of PC here. So first up is this little Sophia Petrillo fantasy bamboo purse. <laughs> I couldn't, I mean, it's so, it's in such great condition. I don't know, this is probably like a tourist purse from at some point, but it's in really good condition. It's got this cute little like elephant. Is that an elephant? Or some kind of leaf clasp here. A little like grosgrain interior, again, in perfect condition. No idea what I'll get for this. I, I might even keep this because I am the world's biggest Golden Girls fan. But if I sell it, maybe 20 or 30 bucks. It was just in such good condition that I couldn't like leave it behind. I just had to have it. And next up, this is such a crazy thing to find in the bins. It's an Osprey uh, day pack. Now, if the only backpack buying you do is for like school backpacks, this is probably not on your radar because um, A, they're just too expensive <laughs> and non-functional to be a school backpack. But Osprey is Anybody who is involved with the outdoors, if they hike, if they need to buy a backpack in any way, shape, or form, they are aware of this brand, and it sells so quick. I have sold so many Osprey packs over the years, my own packs. Um, so to find this in the bins for a dollar was insane. So this is, um, the model here is called a Skimmer 16, and if this is something you are getting into or something you find, if you see a number with a name of a backpack, Typically that is a size capacity measurement. So a skimmer 16 means that this is a 16 liter backpack and that's literally the interior volume of the pack. 16 to like 25, 30 is good for like a day pack. So you can call that a day pack. And if it's over 30, you're getting into like real backpacking backpacks. When you think about the ones that you see people backpacking through Europe with, those are usually 60, 65. But anyway, this is a great find. The Skimmer is a super popular day pack size. Um, it's my, it might be something that I even keep for myself because the one that I have is about 30 liters and it's probably too big for anything I would need around this area. Um, but if not, I mean, this is like an $80 backpack. So on the secondhand market, this would probably go 40 to 50 bucks. Um, this was a great find and it will sell quickly. Again, in fantastic condition. It's got a little um, cavity here for a hydration bladder. 
It's got vented straps, which is really great, especially if you're dealing with like hot weather hiking. It's got ventilation on the back to keep the back um, off of your back while you are trekking, uh, just for airflow. So it's got all the bells and whistles, but for sure something to be on the lookout for if this is something that's never been on your radar before, because these sell quick and for a great price. And then next up, I've got one little thing that I'm giving to my friends. Oh, and I couldn't even handle this. This is like a little vintage corduroy like professor jacket. Come on with the elbow patches. Oh, it's so cute. So this is from the 70s and this is a Farrah brand, the same uh, brand of those jeans that I found the other week, which I'll link that, um, I'll link that haul down below. But I believe Farrah is a Western brand. Uh, but this little thing is so well made. and It's like the perfect size for our friend's son. So he's just going to be the most dapper little tiny professor that you've ever seen. Uh, not for sale. So freaking adorable. Next up, now this was a great find. These feel brand new. This is a Fabletics. I mean, it's like usually this tag gets ripped off with its first wear. It's usually a good tell that it's either brand new without tags or it's maybe been worn once. But this is from Fabletics. These are a pair of cute little pink joggers. Um, and they, like I said, they just, they feel like they've never been worn. If they've been worn, they've been worn once gently. This is a size medium. Fabletics moves pretty quickly for me. I think like in store, if you don't want to be like a member of Fabletics, they're like a subscription based service and everything else, if you're trying to buy it one off is like very expensive. So people like those pieces are really sought after because people don't want to have like a subscription for athletic wear. They just want to buy like the one pair of pants. So I'll probably get, I don't know, 20 five to 35 on those Fabletics, like I said, sells pretty quick and for a great price. When I got home, I pulled this out and I thought like, oh, I didn't remove this from my basket. Um, but you know, it's linen. This is a hundred percent linen sweater camisole. There's no tag. There's no size. I, I, I'm assuming that this was probably part of like a two piece set at some point. Cause it doesn't even look like there was a place where a tag was attached. You know, sometimes you can see like the remnants of like, stitches somewhere, but it is 100% linen. It is a cute little camisole. This will sell because linen knit sells no matter what. Breezy, cool, super lightweight, a nice like mushroom taupe color. Um, 15 bucks maybe. Uh, we'll see. I really did think that I put that back though. Uh, that's one of those ones that just kind of like snuck in, <laughs> snuck into my, snuck into my my basket. Next up here were this great pair of Wranglers. And these, I believe, are men's jeans, uh, but I'm pretty sure that they were owned by and worn by a woman just by the way that they were cut. So these are Wrangler, is there a model? I'm sure these model numbers mean something, but I don't know. But the size is a 3230, right? So that tells me that they're men's jeans. And they have, you know, the classic, I don't know how well this is showing up, but they have the classic, you know, Wrangler patch with the W stitching and the little badge there. You know, Wrangler is, you know, they're really well made and this fit, it's like a straight leg. I'm, I have to figure out how I'm going to list this because they are men's jeans, but it also because they have been cropped and worn by a woman. I have to figure out how to list this effectively. Uh, this is something that'll probably go a little bit better on Depop. My Wranglers, for whatever reason, go really quick on, on Depop. But probably 25 bucks on these. Also, if they fit me, I might just keep them. Because they are, I love I love a Wrangler pocket. Like, I love that classic vintage style you know, pocket with the leather patch. I just, I think it's so cute. It's a little whimsical, but also Wrangler jeans are like really made well. So next up, and there's another pair of jeans. This is a pair of new jeans. That's N-E-U-W. And these are men's jeans. Let me see. Let me get you in on that label there. New jeans. And I know this is a really expensive brand. I think they retail for like $200. This is the Iggy skinny jean. Um, I'm assuming a nod to Iggy Pop. We all love Iggy. Um, really beautiful details, really beautiful quality denim. Um, they, they're very rock and roll, right? So skinny jeans in men's, for me, sell better than skinny jeans in women's. Um, these, if they were kind of a more uh, like 
right now trendy cut, like the baggy or whatnot, they would probably go for about $100. But even the skinnies, I'll still probably get somewhere between $35 and $45 on these. Sometimes these just sell really well for me. So great find and definitely a label to be on the lookout for. Next up, another Bolo brand for sure. And I felt this one before I even saw the label and I knew it was something special. So this is obviously silk and look at the fabric on this back. This is like lighter than gossamer. I wish you could feel this because it doesn't even feel like anything on your skin, right? Like it is just so, so feather light. And this is from a brand called Raquel Allegra or Rachel Allegra. I think it's Raquel Allegra. Let me find the label. That's the label you're looking for here. So typically if you're finding this in like a dress, it'll be like a vertical label. So that like long strip will be up and down on the uh, garment. Just something, I you know, I like to give you tips on how to like spot these things in a huge pile. Um, but this was probably a $300 shirt. It's a size large. It's a nice like mushroomy taupe. It's in great condition. Needs a little bit of a steam, but otherwise in great condition. I just love this back. I think this back is so cool. I mean, it's something you would have to, you know, figure out how to wear with or without a bra or whatever, because it is very much sheer, but so, so cute. And like people who love this brand really seek it out. So if you see it, even if it's $10, even if it's priced up in your local store, wherever you go sourcing, uh, pick it up. It'll sell and it'll sell for a great price. Next up, and this is the first of two like really special vintage pieces that I found. <sighs> this is so cute. And I like, this needs a little bit, and by a little bit of love, I mean a lot of love. It needs to be steamed. I think I need to soak it. There's a little bit of yellowing, but nothing I don't think I can handle. But this, I'm pretty sure, this is either like a cotillion dress or like a wedding dress. I can see this being worn today by like a cottagecore wedding. Look at the embroidery on this. And it's got this beautiful satin band that goes to a bow in the back. And then it has this long satin train. Oh my God, this is going to look so stunning once it is, um, once it is pressed and soaked a little bit. Like I just... This is just so beautiful. I think this is handmade. I don't see any tags on the inside. And if you look at the interior <clears throat> seaming, it looks like it was handmade. So this could have been somebody like made this for their, you know, for their debut or for their cotillion or even for their wedding. I just think it is so, so cute. This is probably, probably about a size four. So it's not, it's not a big size, but I just, I think it's so lovely. And I, it's, you know, the, when I find these kind of things, I know that they're not going to be fast sells. In fact, just this week, and I'm going to have a moment of like mourning <laughs> because I miss having it in my closet. One of the most beautiful vintage gowns I had ever found sold this week. I think I paid $10 for it in my local, in like my Salvation Army nearby. And it was used in films. It was made in the 1940s. I mean, it was couture. It was so stunning. I tell, but it sold this week for $2.99. And I just like, I knew it was going to take a while to sell, but when it sold, it was going to go to the right person because it was, I think like a size two, it was obviously fit for Hollywood people. Um, and it still had the Universal Studios scan tag from when it sat in the costume closet. It was just a really special piece. And I like, I miss having it. But when I find something like this, like I know it's not going to sell immediately. This isn't going to be like a really quick sell through, but it's going to go to somebody who's really going to treasure it. And that's, again, you know, it's where I got my start in resale many, many, many moons ago. And it just like, it means a lot to me to find stuff like this and to get it back into hands where it's going to be used again or loved again or revered again for what it is. I just, I just think that this is really special and I hope this goes on to be, you know, a part of somebody's like most special day in their life. Like that, I can't, I can't, I get misty, schmaltz police, here we are. So next up and in a stark left turn from where we just were is this great pair of Nike uh, fleece sweatshorts. And these are from the SB line, uh, which is basically their skate centric line, skateboard centric line. Nike SB is always gonna sell well. It stands 
for skateboarding, Nike skateboarding, but it's also a nod to the creator of the line, Sandy Bodecker, who was like a longtime Nike employee. Um, anybody who's into sneakers will know who that is. He really, he was really credited for the being the guy that kind of like came around and revitalized dunks and revitalized these kind of heritage Nike silhouettes. Uh, so it's definitely something to be on the lookout for. Because these are SB and in fantastic shape, these will probably go somewhere 25 to 35. If these were just Nike mainline, probably more like 15 to 25. So just keep that in mind as you're looking and as you're sourcing. Um, it's going to be a little bit safer to put a little bit more money into an SB piece than it would be into just like a Nike mainline piece. Next up, and I, I had these pants at some point in my life. These are by Elevensies, which is a anthropology brand. And these are just like a cute, these were like the early days of kind of trouser pants coming back into style. They have a nice heavy cuff on the bottom, a nice straight leg. They're still really, really chic. This is a linen blend, so they've got a gorgeous drape. And it's kind of like a, like a steel gray color, little fabric colored, uh, like sailor style buttons there. So, so cute. This is a size eight in fantastic condition. Now, Elevensies doesn't go for what it used to. These will still probably go for about 25 bucks. Um, maybe a little bit more, because I don't think I see many that are like bigger than a size four on the market. So we'll find out, but definitely, again, something to keep your eyes out for as long as the price you're getting it for is right. Next up here, we've got this cute little piece from Rails, one of my favorite brands to find. Rails is just a super high-end, like casual wear brand. Um, it's got like little military style badges there. It's got little stars. I think this is an extra small. Um, you know, like if this was a large, this would probably easily fetch 60 or 70 bucks. Um, but I, you know, maybe 30 or 40 bucks on this. Rails is just one of those brands that I always keep my eyes out for for my own personal wear and for resale. Number one, it resells really well, but the quality is there. Um, you know, like this is like a lyocell material, but it's heavier weight. You know, the stitching is beautiful. It's strong, it feels solid. So one of my favorite brands for sure to be on the lookout for. Next up, now I grabbed this and I just wasn't sure <laughs> what it was. You know, I'm pretty hip to athletic wear, you know, both in like what I wear and what I sell. And I've never seen this brand before. What's it called? 2XU. But when I felt it, like the fabric felt really special. Um, in the same way that like, I'm trying to think of another fabric that you might have felt uh, feels really special. Like if you've ever felt the Lululemon New Lux fabric, it's unlike anything you've ever felt before. Like there's nothing else on the market like it. Um, this kind of had that feel to it. And I'm like, what is this? So I brought, you know, I grabbed it and I threw it in my bag and I brought it back to my cart and I looked it up and these retail for like $115, $120. So we'll see how they resell. This very well might end up being another Bolo brand to find. These are an extra small, so they'll probably take a little longer to sell, but, um, I'm interested to see how they do, because like I said, this fabric is really, really different. I'm assuming that it's, um, like a lot of, like when I looked on the website, a lot of their leggings have really like aggressive stripes that go around. So I'm assuming they have this kind of like targeted compression that's meant to keep your joints safe and supported, but very interested to see how they do. I'm gonna bank on 25 to 30 bucks on those, but for all I know, they could end up going for 60 bucks. So I will try to report back on those when they do sell. Next up, another great brand I love finding. This is Joie. Joie always sells really well for me. Beautiful quality, beautiful textiles, very kind of ethereal feel to most of the things that they make. And this is just a little gauzy sleeveless shirt. Raw edges there on the sleeves, buttoned down on the front, little chest pockets. This will easily go 35 to 40 bucks. Joie pieces that are kind of basics really move well for me. So if you are not already on the lookout for Joie, be on the lookout for Joie. Next up, and this is like one of the few bread and butter pieces that I found, and it's something that'll sell pretty quick. Um, this is Zara Knit. Zara Knit just moves so quick for me these days. This is like a great little basic ribbed, kind of cropped black sweater. This is a size small long sleeve, kind of a more voluminous sleeve there, 
ribbed and it's got kind of, I don't know if you can see the knit pattern there on the back. See how it kind of comes to the middle and has like a little bit of mitering there. This I'll probably get somewhere between like 28 and 32 on it. And like I said, this will probably move pretty quick. Zara knits move fast. And it is one of the nicer knits. I think this is a cotton blend. Uh, the interior tag's been ripped out, but it feels like a cotton blend. Like this is at least some content of cotton. This doesn't feel itchy and kind of picky like acrylic does. Next up, now this was something I grabbed because this fabric felt just divine. Um, <laughs> like I wish you could feel this. This feels just like the nicest quality cotton. It's got these cute little bell sleeves. It's this pretty like light powder blue and the brand is Skin. Now I had never heard of this before. Have, you, have any of you ever heard of this? Let me know in the comments down below. Like I've never seen this before but I just rolled the dice on this because this fabric felt so nice. This is a size two, so I'm, um, you know, it's probably like a size large. I'm not quite sure how their sizing works, um, but their resale seems to be pretty solid. So probably 30 bucks on this. These were about $80 new. So uh, definitely a brand I'm gonna keep my eyes out for because I just wanna wear nothing but this for the rest of my life. I'm about comfort, <laughs> I'm about feel on skin, and this just feels absolutely divine. What is the fabric on this? Yeah, Pima cotton, that makes sense. Absolutely, positively the softest, and it feels nicely made, right? Like sometimes you feel things that are lightweight like this and they feel a little flimsy. This does not feel like it's gonna rip apart at the seams. Definitely a brand to be on the lookout for. And I'll try to report back on what that sells for. But if you've sold it before, if you've found it before, if this is a brand that you're all about, let me know. I want to know. Next up, this is another, I swear to God, I keep finding these super high-end Australian brands, man. The Australians know what they're doing <laughs> like with fashion. Uh, this is from a brand called Chic, S-H-E-I-K-E. -E. And like I grabbed this because the, like, the build quality felt really nice. So this is kind of like a high neck, almost has like a halter neckline, right? So where like the, the sleeves kind of come up towards the neck, which is just so flattering on like every shoulder. And I love this back, look at that. It's like a razor back, but it's got a little button there. That's how you put it on. And it's like a double layer gauze. You know, it's just got like a nice weight to it, right? So it's gonna drape really beautifully. It's fully lined in the same fabric. Finishings are beautiful. Very high-end brand. This was probably a good $150 new. Probably 20 to 32 on this. I just think it's so cute. What size is it? Size six. Absolutely adorable. So next up here, another incredible brand. That's Trina Turk, incredible designer, I should say. That's Trina Turk. Her stuff is very high-end, sold in very high-end stores. Quality is beautiful. I've bought and sold a couple of her pieces over the years and they're just beautiful. I love, okay, so this is just a little kind of crochet lace camisole with a v-neck and a v-back, size small, the interior is nice and soft and smooth, but look at the strap. So first of all, I love how like the v-neck goes all the way up to like right here on the shoulder and the actual strap is only like this long, but it's this beautiful like grosgrain grain ribbon. I don't know why, but this is a detail that just like tickles me. <laughs> Like I just, I love that. I think it's gonna lay really beautifully. It makes, you know, it just makes it very flat to your skin. It's gonna feel great on, cause it's nice and soft. And I don't know if this is silk, but it feels like silk grain. Probably somewhere between 30 and 40 on this. I just think it's so cute and in like perfect condition. This feels like it's never been worn. And a little eyelash lace detail there at the bottom. This is from a brand called Rebecca Taylor, another incredibly high-end designer. 100% silk, like, hello. This beautiful cream blouse. Like, I just want you to get in close to, look at the details on that. Look at how that pin tucking is what gathers the sleeve in. It's got a nod to that pin tucking on the back and the pin tucking goes only to like, kind of the, the part of inflection of your back where it starts to curve in. And then it's like a little bit wider. And it's got pin tucking on the front with that detail. And then the little pom-poms around the, I'm just like, so, so gorgeous. This is a size eight. Again, probably a $300 shirt when it was new, if not a little bit more. Um, I'm not sure what I'll get for this. Maybe 
somewhere between $30 and $50. I've only seen a couple other Rebecca Taylor pieces, um, and most of them were quite a bit older than this. I think this is her new tag. So we'll see. I'm not quite sure what I'll get for it, but isn't that, isn't that gorgeous? I just can't, I like, I can't. Next up was this great, another great brand to find, that's Theory. Uh, Theory does basics better than pretty much anybody in the world. Their fabrics are so special and they're beautiful and their tailoring is really like unbelievable. And I love this little sweater shell. I want, and the texture, can I get you up close on the texture for this? Can you see how it's like a little bit, it's like ribbed, ever so gently ribbed there? It's so cool and I love the black and white stripe. It's super classic. This is a size medium, which is a great size to find. Um, and again, this feels completely unworn. Probably somewhere between 35 and 45 on this. Another incredible, incredible piece. Next up, this is one of two jackets like this I got the other day. This is from Velvet by Graham and Spencer, another super high-end brand. They're sold at Saks. They're sometimes sold at Anthropology. This is like a little kind of utility style field jacket. Uh, this one has like a, a round collar and like a little bit of a moto style zip. I don't know if you can really see that. You can see, so it kind of goes far over and then the moto style zip goes like, you know, a little bit diagonal. This is in great condition. Feels like it's never been worn. What size is this? Size small, 100% cotton, has just such a beautiful drape to it. This will probably go 40 bucks, maybe 50. It's in fantastic condition. Just so, so cute. Another brand for sure to be on the lookout. I've had a bunch of velvet pieces that have gone really fast for me recently, so I'm always gonna be eyes out for them. Next up is this cute little pair of sweatpants from Free People. I don't know what it is about bottoms from Free People. Not the jeans, specifically sweatpants, uh, regular pants, any kind of pants, not skirts, not jeans, pants. Uh, they move so quick for me. These are size small, and they've got like little buttons there with a drawstring. This is like a cargo style jogger. They've got drawstring on the ankles. They've got this little like strap detail on the side, which gives me all of, if anybody my age remember UFO pants back in like the, the, 80, you know, the 80s, the 90s, the late 90s, early 2000s, UFO pants, those, it was kind of in the same era of Jenkos, um, and they were huge, and they had all these straps. Anyway, um, this just immediately, anytime I see a strap hanging off of a cargo pant, that's what I think of. Um, but probably 30 to 40 bucks on these. Dark gray in a size, what was it again? Size small, but again, kind of a generous size because it's free people. Another great find. Next up, and these were, this was something that I was kind of like debating on keeping. This was like on my chop pile. But this is a pair of 100% linen pants from Cloth and Stone, which is an anthropology brand. They kind of like wide leg, a little bit cropped. They're a size large. And I, you know, I decided to just grab them probably 25 to 35 bucks on these. Just, you know, again, they're, le they're linen pants. Like, they're linen pants from Anthropology. They're always going to move. Like, linen is just always going to move. So they were, uh, I think, a pretty safe bet. Another incredible brand to keep your eyes out for. This is a cute little, like, cover-up from Vitamin A. Vitamin A is a swimwear company very high end. I'm talking like $200 plus like bikinis. This is just a cute little, let me see if I can hold this up a little bit better. So it's a cute little like swim cover up. It's 100% linen. It's like a nice chocolate brown. This feels unworn. I don't know how to explain it to you, but like there is just a feel to linen when it hasn't been worn yet. This feels unworn. Uh, but it's got these cute like kind of cushy. These are like a little bit cushy spaghetti straps. And then in the back, and they kind of have like a little crisscross and they tie there. Uh, this probably 40 or 50 bucks, uh, maybe a little bit more. These I think retail for like 120. They're pretty expensive and I believe they still make them. Uh, this is for sure a brand to be on the lookout for. You know, swim is not for everybody, but if you know the brands to look for, swim can be like such a great return for you with like minimal storage space taken up, right? Like that's the dream. So vitamin A is a brand that you want to keep your eyes out for. Next up, this is just, I'm not quite sure about this brand. This is Francesca Bettini. But if you see on that tag, it says made in Italy. So Italian linen. I'm never going to say no. This is a cute little like 
white baby doll style tee, size small, so it's a nice oversized kind of login look feel to it. This will go quick. Probably 35 bucks, this gorgeous Italian linen. Like I said, guys, I, it was, you see what I'm talking about. Like, I, it was hard. It was hard to leave. It was hard to leave knowing what was in the bins that day. Next up, another like insane brand to be on the lookout for. Now I felt this, and this was actually inside out when I found it. And I felt the, I felt the textile. And the first thing that came to my mind was Hill House, which is another phenomenal brand to be on the lookout for. Their nap dresses just are really sought after. And then I felt this this kind of pleating work, which I just know to like do like this and to finish the way it's done. I've never, I've never heard of this brand before, um, but I just, it was all the check marks for extremely high quality stuff. Um, this is just finished really beautifully and it's a lot of beautiful detail work on it. So the brand is Lilu. Another, has anybody heard of this before? Let me know. Now this is, um, how do I explain this? This feels like almost like a prairie dress. Like this is a maxi dress with a nice ruffle on the end and this beautiful like sage green, uh, you know, striped and floral print with a little tie neck. It feels very like, almost like an old tiny nightgown. Um, but this brand is, you know, this was probably a two or $300 dress new. And on the resale market, they go for like over a hundred dollars. So I'm not sure about this specific dress. This is a size large. See that pleat back there? This is just one of those things that's really hard to show, <laughs> like on camera at one point. The ruffle's really nice. There's a great like volume of fabric down here. Guys, be on the lookout for it. If you have, if you found anything like this before, if you found anything from Lilu, let me know. Like, how is it sold for you? Did it move fast? I am, I'm dying to know. Like, I love to learn about new brands, and this is one for sure. I'll be on the lookout for absolutely gorgeous made in india you know so you know it's like the best quality cotton what a find once again couldn't leave like my god like it just kept giving next up and this is one that i might keep for myself this is a cool little vintage lacoste club cardigan sweater I used to have one that I bought at a thrift store back when I was in high school that I wore all the time and I loved it. So this just made me smile when I found it. You know, it's got the little alligator. You know, Lacoste is a pretty high-end brand and their quality is really nice. But if I don't sell this, this will still probably go for somewhere between 25 and 35 bucks. This is a 2XL, so it is a size that will move really quickly with, you know, with people wanting those kind of nice oversized fits today. Um, but another incredible brand, this is Standard from James Purse. These pieces always go really fast for me. James Purse is like all about the quality. It's the best textiles, it's the best finishing. Um, you know, he became famous because of his sheets. Obviously I'm a sheet snob. I can wax philosophical about sheets for hours if you let me, but um, James Purse Standard is a great brand to keep your eyes out for. It will sell quickly. And this is just a basic little tank top. It is a size three, so it's a larger size. Um, probably 25 bucks on that. Next up, another incredible brand. These are the Athleta Camden Joggers. You can usually tell like the newest of Athleta pieces have like the name of the actual model on the tag. With it. So uh, definitely something to keep your eyes up for as you are sourcing. These are a six petite. Um, I kind of love finding petite sizes because, I, you know, the girls who are tall and the girls who are short, I think they really struggle to find things on the secondhand market. So it's always nice to find these because you're serving that kind of already grossly underserved population of people who are too tall or too short for standard lengths. Yeah, so the Camden Joggers, they have like a nice banded cuff. They have this, like this fabric is... Um, Kind of silky. I'm trying to think what this feels like. It almost feels like a uh, like a legging material that's just like turned into joggers. But it's got a uh, nice stretch. It's got zip pockets. It's got this nice tall waistband, which I just love. Kind of gives you a little bit of like at the waist. These will probably go thirty five bucks or so. Athlet is always a quick sale and a really good sale. Next up, another one of my favorite brands to find. That's Eileen Fisher. Love finding Eileen Fisher. Now this one didn't have the tag in it. I'm assuming it was cut out. Um, but I believe this is either a size small or a size medium. And this is an interesting piece from Eileen. Like I've never, like, do you see that stretch? 
this is like a little, um, like an open front, almost like a blazer. This kind of has a blazer cut to it. I know it's not showing well in the camera because it's all black um, and, and it's unlined. So you're looking at the same on the inside, but it's got like four way, like incredible four way stretch. Not like, not like a little bit of stretch, like a lot of stretch. Like this feels like a, um, almost like an athletic fabric. So you know, probably somewhere between 35 and 50 on this. I have to do a little bit more research on what this exactly is, but it is a really, it's a really cool piece. And you know, it's just always nice when you get something that looks chic and has like full range of motion because we all know that blazers don't give us that. Very cool piece. Next up, another, another piece from Standard, James Purse. This one's a little crew neck sweatshirt, which is, I mean, as soft as could be. So this is French terry. And if you are not familiar with the difference between fleece and French terry, French terry has a looped back, right? So you can kind of see it's got that texture that almost, get my face out of there, there you go. So it's almost got the texture that's like a terry cloth, right? Like, so like a washcloth or something like that. Whereas fleece typically has a softer brushed interior. So think like the inside of like a sweatshirt when you get it new and it's that kind of like almost fuzzy feel. That's fleece, this is French terry. Again, probably 25 to $35 on this. Again, in great condition, size small, four, size four. Next up, another brand that I love to find, this is Prana. Prana makes fantastic hiking trousers. These are definitely hiking trousers. They've got a little bit of stretch to them this way. So you have a little bit of a like range of motion. These are a size six in a nice olive green. I don't know the model, but I'm pretty sure I'll be able to find it. It's a nice, they're not convertible. A lot of the Prana um, hiking pants are convertible. And while they seem like Convertible pants are more of a sell because they have that feature where they can be shorts or pants. There are a lot of people out there, particularly anybody with a thicker thigh, that really hates convertible pants. I am somebody who cannot stand them because that zipper rubs on the inside. But yeah, so these will be probably 35 bucks and these I would reckon would sell pretty dang quick. These are in fantastic condition. They don't look like they've seen a lot of wear. Typically you'll see a lot of like, business down here on the bottom if they've gotten a lot of wear. And next up, now this is, I found Chico's before, but I've never found this line. Do any of you know anything about it? This is the black label from Chico's. Never heard of it before, but this is like this very cool leopard print blouse. And the quality on it is really nice. It's kind of like a, um, almost like a, like a heavy gauge chiffon or like an organza. And it's got this big like necktie. This is something that is not going to show well on camera, but it's got long sleeves with kind of like an exaggerated cuff there. I love it. And I don't know if any of you guys have been following uh, trends these days, but apparently Clean Girl is out and Mob Wife is in. So start upping your searches for leopard prints because they're starting to fly. I literally just sold another incredible vintage um, leopard print fur coat. Keep an eye out for my um, ship with me this week. I, I believe I'm gonna film one, so I, I'll have that in there. But anyway, so this is kind of a cool thing. I'm thinking probably 30 to 35 on this. It's a size, what is it? It's a size medium, so they don't use the regular Chico sizing. So interested to see how this does. Very cute piece, feels very well made. Guys, mob wife. As somebody from the Philadelphia area, um, welcome, welcome people to our, to what we, how we have been dressing all along. This is our neutral and we will die on that hill. Next up is a cute little We The Free piece. These kind of t-shirty pieces from We The Free always fly out of my closet. And I just thought this was such a cute little like high low baby doll. So it's kind of flat on the front, little cap sleeves. Again, light as a feather, almost like gossamer t-shirt with like a baby doll like seam there on the back. I just thought this was so cute. This will probably go 20 bucks and it'll probably go very quickly. Next up, here's the second of those two um, utility style jackets. And this is also from Velvet by Graham and Spencer, but it is the Lily Aldridge for Velvet line. Lily Aldridge is a model. She's done a lot of kind of guest designing. I think she did a pair of ears for Disney World. Um, but another cute little lightweight 
This is like a, a dark gray utility jacket, 100% cotton, has that same little like drawstring zippers. This doesn't have, this has a collar. This is a little bit more of a traditional utility jacket feel to it. And again, in fantastic condition, like this does not feel like it's been worn more than once or twice. Uh, probably, again, another $40 on that. Next up, and I'm saving three absolute bangers for last. Um, this is from a brand called Beyond Yoga. That's the little logo on the back, if you ever see it. Um, usually they have the logo printed on the inside, but sometimes that can wear off. And like, I've had a pair of these and it wore off within one wash. So if you see that interior screening washed off, like don't necessarily worry about it, worry about the condition of the textiles, but their textile has such a devoted following. People love it. It is the definition of buttery soft. And these are a pair of joggers and they are maternity joggers. So what you're looking for is beyond the bump. And you know, it's kind of interesting with maternity. I don't do a ton of it, but the, the pieces I do pick, I'm very, very selective with what I do grab is, you know, when somebody is pregnant and they're shopping in the maternity section, they don't want to spend a ton, you know, like, cause you're only going to be wearing these for a couple months of your life. You know, so I find if you can find these really good quality brands in maternity pieces, grab them. You know, everybody's going to be happy, especially with like, you're expecting a child, your expenses are about to go crazy, you're going to have medical bills, you're going to have to like buy a crib and this, that and the other if this is your first kid. Uh, so these kind of things go really fast for me. And I usually find them in fantastic condition because, you know, you're only wearing them for a little bit of your life. And these feel brand new. These feel maybe one or two wears, like they're just in fantastic condition. And a size, size large. It's great. These will probably go, these retail, I think Beyond Yoga, Yoga Pants retail for like $98. So these probably retail around the same price, but I'll probably get somewhere between 30 and 40 for these. And I think that they'll go very quickly. Next up, now, now this is a label you don't expect to see in the bins. Um, another one of my favorite designers, and you'll notice that all of my favorite designers tend to be very minimalist. It's your Jill Sander, your Dries Van Noten, your Yoji Yamamoto. I've talked about all of these, but also Helmet Lang. What? What? In the bins? This is a pair of Helmet Lang jeans. They are skinny jeans. Did I also hear rumblings that skinny jeans are coming back in? Now, I know that there's a lot of girls around my age that are rattling and hating the fact that skinny jeans are going out of style and I jumped off of that ship so fast, like get me out of these leg prisons. Uh, but I know a lot of people still love them. And from what I'm told, skinny jeans and riding boots are coming back in. So maybe just start to keep your eyes out for super high-end brands. But these are like a cute little skinny jean. They've got little ankle zips. Um, these will still sell just based on fact that they are helmet laying. If these were like a more baggy cut, again, a more, you know, right now in trend cut, easily a hundred to hundred and fifty dollars, I'll still probably get 35 or 40 bucks for these. I like in a million years, finding a helmet laying <laughs> in the bins, insane. Oh, I'm sorry, I had four more pieces. Still all incredible pieces. Next up. Are you ready for this? This is maybe one of my favorite vintage pieces I've ever found. I can't even handle this 1960s dream. Look at this. Oh, let me get you up close on this beading work on the neck. Come on. And it's in perfect condition. Not a stone off, not a pearl off. Just, I mean, and it's like, you can see that, like, I don't know if they still do this. I'm sure they do it on high end. But if you get up close on those crystals, let me see if the camera will focus for you. See, you can see, like, ever so small prongs. So they literally stud this. And those are Aurora Borealis crystals, if you're not familiar with that term. It's just like a rhinestone that has kind of an iridescent coating on it that kind of makes it reflect different colors. But I am absolutely dying over this. This fabric is fabulous. It's in great condition. Obviously needs a steam. There's pockets. Come on. Lana Del Rey, I've got a dress for you, is what I'm saying. If anybody has a connection with Lana Del Rey, send her to me. I will send this to her gratis. I just want to see this. I just want to see this worn. Isn't this stunning? Forgive me for nerding out. This is the kind of stuff that just like keeps me going back because what? 
unbelievable. Uh, probably if, if, um, if Lana Del Rey does not contact me for me to send this to her, I'm putting that out into the universe, uh, probably 75 to hundred dollars on this. I believe this is silk jacquard. I mean, like, can you see this fabric? Look at that. Oh, oh my, thank you for letting me nerd out about these things because I just, I need, I need somebody to get it. <laughs> I need somebody in my life to get it. Uh, isn't that gorgeous though? No, nope, I'm sorry. I now still have three more pieces. Um, this one was hiding. This is like a cute little Bella doll, little cotton sleeveless ruffle neck shirt. This feels absolutely brand new. This is a size small, just kind of like a gauzy cotton, super lightweight, like nice little basic, nice little shell shirt. Probably 25 to 35 on that Bella doll's for sure a brand to keep your eyes out for. And I've been finding a lot in the bins recently. So I'm wondering if it's one person's closet or if maybe they unloaded some pieces from the store. And these last two pieces, we're finally down to the last two pieces. Sorry for the false, the false hope. These are two like pieces that are holy grails for most people. This one is from Jen's Pirate Booty which is a high-end brand that was sold in, that is sold in um, Free People. And it's this cute little dress. Oh my God, look at these sleeves. Like I'm just such a sucker for a wide sleeve or a bell sleeve. And it's this pretty like mauve and gold color. It's got this really interesting deep V neck. And that deep V neck goes into a little tie that goes around. This will look much better and it'll make much more sense when it's on like the mannequin. But Jen's pirate booty and it's got this little like, you see it's got like little peekaboos there. It is a short dress. This is a size, is, size extra small. This will, pr this probably sold for $300 new. Uh, and I, uh, depending on the model, I'm not quite sure about this one. I'll have to do a little bit more research, but easily these can go for a hundred dollars on the resale market. So an incredible find, obviously a brand to keep your eyes out for. I just don't know how often you're going to find it. This is only the second piece I've ever found. And um, I was kind of floored by how expensive everything was. And finally, another, another absolute holy grail brand. Now I've never found this before. But this is Acris. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Acris? Acris? They make super high-end basics, top-of-the-line fabrics. Everything is just stunning. And it's these cute little, like, striped trousers in fantastic condition. These are mulberry silk. Mulberry silk, and the band just reeks of quality. I don't know how to explain that. Um, just the way it's stitched and you can tell that the elastic is really high quality. It's just really beautiful piece. You know, these $500 on the retail market, they'll probably resell somewhere between $50 to $100. I'm not quite sure where. They are a size, size 10, which is a great size. Absolutely, positively incredible piece. But that is it, guys. That's the haul for this week. Like, can you believe this? I... I literally had to peel myself away. It was just one after the other, after the other. And they were all just great pieces. Again, I had to put back like 30 pieces and they weren't, it's not like they were bad pieces or not saleable or damaged. They were just not as good as Acris trousers. <laughs> it was insane. Uh, what was your favorite piece this week? Mine, I think was that light blue vintage dress. I just, it's so pretty. Uh, once again, putting it into the universe, if any of you know Lana Del Rey, uh, send her my way. I've got a gorgeous dress for her. But for all of you numbers nerds out there, the retail value on all of this is somewhere north of 6,000. Obviously we have some estimates in there for the vintage pieces. And I'm looking at somewhere between $1,300 and $1,500 in sales, which will bring my profit to somewhere around $1,100. And with $41 spent, that brought my, uh, my return on investment to somewhere north of 27X. One of my best days ever. I have to say, in terms of concentration of incredible like Bolo brands, this might be the best Bittens haul I've ever done. What do you think? But guys, without further ado, I've got to start working on this backlog and I've got to start editing this because it needs to go up tomorrow. But guys, have the most incredible week. I hope you're all having an incredible week. Happy hunting, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!